get to this muzzle brake review, huh? As you guys know, I have I've tested five muzzle brakes in the first part of our muzzle brake recoil comparison. I'll put a link to that in the description of each of the muzzle brakes. But uh, which one should we do first? How about my first muzzle brake? All right, that's the JT Engineering competition muzzle brake. I'll put up the lengths and weight up on the screen here for you guys. But uh, it, it's done pretty well for me. Uh, this is the brake that I used in Tactical Response Fighting Shotgun course down in uh, Camden, Tennessee, where Tactical Response is located at. It worked very well. Uh, this is the one that I use if I really, you know, have to do some work. Because the way I uh, reload, a lot of you guys don't like it. When I put the muzzle in the ground to reload my Saiga, it's kind of hard to reload that weapon with only one arm without doing that. Uh, I have in the past put it between my legs and done the reload. I can still do that, but it is faster if I just put the muzzle on the ground and, and support it with my chest. Obviously when I bring it back up, I'm looking at the muzzle just to make sure there's no you know, debris stuck in it. But those, those chambers in there, I mean, if there was any mud stuck in there, it'd blow it out and you wouldn't really have to worry about you know, anything blowing up or getting stuck or lodged too bad. Except for maybe a rock, but come on. If you're gonna do that type of reload, you only have you know, one arm. It's, it's one thing to say this like this, you know, watch where you're putting your muzzle, but if you're ever a firefight or anything, you might not even be paying attention to that. You're more worried about, you know, the bullets coming coming at you. But anyways, uh, it's a pretty good break. It actually works. Uh, I know there's a debate, or there's not a debate, but there was this one guy in ARFCOM that, you know, kept arguing with me saying that, you know, muzzle brakes for shotguns don't work because there's not enough gas pressure. I found that to be false. I found that that muzzle brakes do work. Uh, they just have to be, you know, designed for a shotgun. You can't just put a, a rifle-styled muzzle brake on a on a shotgun and expect that to work. This was my first muzzle brake. I really like this muzzle brake, and this is probably my default muzzle brake. As you can see, it's been it's been used. It's been abused. I really wouldn't say abused, but it has been used pretty pretty extensively. Uh, very solid, obviously a piece of hex stock, that's it. I think that muzzle brake only cost me $90 when I got it. If you guys like this muzzle brake, like the style, you guys can pick this up at a Carolina Shoe Supply, they sell it, or you can just go to JT Engineering's website, I'll put that up for you. Anyways, that's it. That's it.